Originally, the city of Kettering approached my dad about would I be willing to help them build a skate park. And that's when I knew I had a real opportunity to, to make real change and, and be the loud voice with the community support to just make the very first pure skate plaza. And so I set off on that journey, you know, and, and went through a lot to figure it all out. I had to, you know, go from teaching myself to draft to completely drafting that plaza and then go through the process of pricing that plaza and then redrafting it again and pricing it again and redrafting it again. I was so pure with making that like they just a end all be all plaza, every aspect of it being like real hardcore skate spots that I could barely even skate anything on it when, when it opened. You know what I mean? Like I could barely even skate like the small rail. I couldn't even get enough, I couldn't even like get enough thrust to like hit the gap over the stairs. It was like a legitimate like, you know, four feet in the, in the air, you know. So now all the kids there absolutely destroy it. You know, even the day we opened it was like a an eight-year-old Chaz Ortiz like kickflip the 12, you know, it's like everything is like photo worthy, video part worthy spot, which ultimately just you know, made it very scary to skate. My goal was just do one. All it needs is just one to be finally done to be like, look, this is what it looks like if you just make a pure street plaza. And I knew that the world would embrace it and that they'd start making them all over the world. I, you know, it was just sort of a cool thing for me that I got to do the first one in Kettering, Ohio, where I grew up, as a way to kind of give back to that community. You know, once I had met California Skate Parks and Joe Siaglia, it really opened up my eyes to what was truly possible. Because it took me three years to get that first one done in Ohio. After I met him, that's when I really realized you know, the, the way to get these done isn't to go through the process of building a giant skate park. Uh, how about just building a skate spot? Uh, where we just went around Los Angeles and said, hey, we, we don't want to go through this whole process of getting two acres of land and, and, and all that. Just give us a part of an existing park, break us off a little corner, and then we will build a skate spot and then give it to the community. Today the plazas have evolved into all aspects. Being led by street, but still a ton of great tranny and, and a lot of fun things to skate where the evolution of the plaza always came from the idea of just a really good place to ride a skateboard that you could ride at any time, you know, and, and, and that's what the foundation has always stand for. Uh, being a place that's free, open, and legal for people to ride a skateboard, for those that are technical to do really hard stuff, for those that are learning to just have fun and it be a, a magnet for finding new people to, to find out about skateboarding and how amazing it is to start to participate in it.